with the color called Champagne Bubble Bath from the Tarte High Performance Naturals palette. This is just kind of a shimmery pink and I'm trying to keep the eye look in this look look pretty natural. Then I'm going to go in with Vanilla Candles, it's just a matte cream color, and we are going to put this on the brow bone, the center of the eye, and the inner corner. Alright, now I'm going to go in with Feeling Gray. Get it? Gray? Great. Yeah. So I'm going to put this on the outer part of the crease. I'm going to blend that in and then I'm going to also put this on the lower lash line. And last but not least, I'm going to go in with Champagne Bubble Bath again over the top. Now we're going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye just to kind of lighten up the look. Then I'm going to go in with Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This stuff is amazing. It coats really well and I'm going to really get in that lower lash line. I love those spider lashes. Then I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal Pencil Black Eyeliner and go in my tight line. And then we're going to pop on some Ardell Lashes. If you want to learn more about how I put on lashes, I have a video specifically on that topic. Now I'm going to coat my lips with a little bit of foundation just to get a blank canvas. And I'm going to go in with my NYX lipstick in the color Up The Base. Uh, this is definitely a gray toned purple and I really love it. And yes, I'm not using lip liner, which is really odd for me. It was really odd to do it like that, but it all worked out. Alright, on to look number two. So I'm going to go in with my Manly Professional Cosmetics palette. And these do not have names, but I'm going to go in with the absolute hottest pink. And we're going to do an ombre eyebrow. We're going to go from pink into purple. Alright, now I'm going to take this kind of light pink, light purple kind of tone and I'm just going to put this on my lid but not even going near the crease. Alright, now I'm going to go in with this darker but brighter purple and we're going to put this in the crease area. You can go a little above the crease but you don't want to go up too far because we're going to be putting another color up there and we don't, you know, want our eyeshadow going up completely to our eyebrows. And now we're going to kind of go into this cooler toned orange uh, and we're going to blend from purple to orange. I know, you would never really think to do that, but we're doing it today and it works. And as for technique wise, I'm just kind of trying to take the orange out like I would a cat eye, just kind of taking it towards the end of your eyebrow. adding a little bit more purple uh, just because I lost a little bit of the pigment while blending. And then you can clean up if you got a little close to the eyebrow and then we're gonna go in with this pretty shimmery cream color and highlight our brow bone. And now blue. Yeah. We're gonna put this on the lower lash line and just kind of blend it out a little bit but not too much. And then taking that NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk again, we're going to put that in our waterline so that we can add this lime green and it'll look a lot more vibrant. And then we're going to be taking a little bit of purple and adding that to the lower lash line just to give the eye a, a darker look. And now eyeliner. If you would like to see how I do a cat eye, I have a video on that. So go check it out. Alright, then we're going to put a little bit more black eyeliner in our tight line as usual. Then we're going to go in with L'Oreal's color called Frida's Nude. I'm not sure who Frida is, but I love this color. Alright, now we're done with both of the looks. I hope you really enjoyed this video because I sure did. Bye!